Hi everyone, welcome back. My name's Claire. I'm going to do a Dutch pour, but one totally different to anything I've done before. Um, I have this image in my head of lines, of lots and lots of straight lines stemming out from the bottom of a canvas, not quite in the corner, along a bit, and then going upwards um, and sort of fanning out, a little bit like, um, like sunshine, maybe. Um, so I'm going to do my Dutch pour ribbons. So I'm going to lay the paint down in lines um, and I'm not going to use a hairdryer. I'm going to use my breath to try and blow a design out, keeping relatively straight lines. Um, it may work, it may not, it may be a disaster, but I have this idea in my head and I've got to try it out. So uh, let me show you the colours I've chosen. Here are the colours I'm going to use. I've grouped them into four sections. So I've basically got some sort of pale blue turquoises and some gold. I've got some purples and some bronze, some pinks and some silver, and some greens and some pearl white. So I think my plan will be to do four different colours of lines roughly in 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 the with these um groupings so i might mix it up like put some pink with the green and mix, um, play around with that i might do that i'm not sure yet um they're all mixed um with flood flower troll with this oops and there's my white that's my base um all mixed with flood flower troll um and i'll put the recipe for the mixture in the description of the video for you i'm going to use a 40 centimeter square canvas I'm just going to put the base colour down and I will use a hairdryer for this bit just to blow this colour out just to get a lovely smooth even amount of paint over the canvas. Right, my vision is to start here and to go out in lines. So I think I'm just going to start with one line of each colour, of each ba uh, 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 group of colours and see. So I want to start about here and try and do a straight-ish line. Right, that's the kind of composition I'm looking at. So it's starting in one place and sort of fanning out a bit. Um, so now on each of the lines, I'm going to add more paint. So on the dark pink line, I'm going to add the other pinks. Right, I think that's enough colour down at the moment. I'll just torch it just to get rid of the air bubbles. Right. Where shall I start? I think I might just start down here.
Wow, it's so pretty. So unusual. I'm not particularly liking this really straight edge, so I'm, I'm going to blow this purple over a bit more, even off the edge in some places, to try and break that really straight line. Um, I'm also going to do a bit of extra blowing around here just to try and close some of the white gaps slightly. But obviously I'm going to get much bigger white gaps here than I am at the edges because the lines are further apart, which was part of my plan. Um, the purples were all sinking and what that creates is these amazing, amazing cells. So some colours have sunk, some haven't, and that just gives really nice contrast. So some, some cells, some bits without cells. It's so pretty. Right, I'm just going to do now some, some tweaking around. So the temptation to twiddle with it just got too much. I had to do it. Um, so you saw at the end, I just dragged my the end of a paintbrush through the centre in a very wiggly line. Nothing, not It wasn't straight at all. I didn't want it to be straight. And then I just did a few little tiny swirls. Um, and I think that does just subtly add to it too. So it looks a little bit like branches maybe different colored branches different colored feathers i you know i don't really know um look at the cells and the lacing so the purple is just incredible um the pinks as well there's a lot of lacing there um it would be interesting to do this again but with some cell activator there was no cell activator in this um just the paints and normal um, um american flood flower troll um i love the different combinations um and I didn't get the pattern completely even. I ended up being a bit random in how I was laying the colours down. Um, but I like that. I like the randomness of it. Um, and I've managed to blow the purple over the edge in places. So you've still got the green showing through. But it's now not that awful straight line of green down the edge. Um, so I'm really happy. Something totally, totally different. Um, yeah, so, so different. Um, so I'll be back when it's dry. So here's the dry result. Um, it's just so different and so unusual. I love how it's dried. Um, towards the edges at the top here, it just looks so floaty. And it, it just reminds me of leaves, I think. Just long, long leaves or long feathers. Um, let me show you close up. The colour combinations are fab. Really, really happy with the colours. And I'm really happy with my little swirls. I'm, and here, I'm so pleased I didn't overdo it. I have definitely overdone it before on some of this type, these types of paintings. I've just embellished it too much or just added too many little swirls. Um, but, so I, I've done it, but I don't think I've done it too much on this occasion, which I'm really happy with. There's just some amazing effects where the paint sinks, where you get little cells, um, lots of little bits of lacing. Um, I really like the effect of dragging the, the stick through the centre to give to give it like a spine, like if it were a feather or, a, or leaves. Um, I just love the alternating colours. I'm quite impressed with this um, colour scheme. So the turquoises and the gold, um, that would be quite nice, I think, to do as a whole painting, the turquoises and the gold. Um, this is definitely my favourite though, but I'm all about the pinks and purples. Um, but just love the, the whole combination. Um, it's really iridescent as well and shiny because there are so many iridescent colours in this. Everything is shimmering. The gold, there's the green, um, the turquoises, everything is just really, really shimmery. Um, and this is before any varnish. Um, so once this is varnished, it will um, just shimmer even more. So, yeah, it's a bit of a gamble, a bit of a, an experiment, but really happy with it. Let me know what you think. Um, if you like it, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, leave me any comments you want to. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.